Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So we've seen this in the past. If you want to work out, we've already seen this in the past. If you want to work out the volume of a sphere, you would integrate it from from minus r to uh, to r. Then this here would then give you the vo uh, the volume of the whole sphere. But then suppose you only want to find out part of the sphere. Let's say from minus r to to let's say a. So suppose you only want to find out um, the the volume of the, of part of the sphere. Then you would use the same technique, but integrate it from from minus r to uh, to a. This here would then give you the volume of the sphere up to up to a. Okay, so so bear this in mind. Use this to help you answer the next question. So the next question is: I'm trying to design a um, I'm trying to design a wok. So a wok uh, a wok is something that Chinese people use to stir fry their their food. Okay, so so this here is your 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 circle here. Um, I, I'm trying to design a wok, but the height of the wok must be must be ten centimeters. Okay, so so the height of the wok is ten centimeters. How much water can this wok contain? So find the vo volume of this wok here. Okay, so um, the height of the wok must be ten centimeters. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this here, you 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 um. You in effect want to find out the volume up to this bit here. So don't forget it, it is 10 centimeters high. Okay. So um so it's easier to 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 um it's easier to uh, to to integrate it horizontally. Okay. So um so integrate it from don't forget this here will be minus 20 and this here will be minus 10. Okay. Because um uh because uh. Because this is remember a circle is of the form r uh, equals r squared here. So so this here is your your minus twenty. Well, if the walk is ten centimeters tall, then this must be um, must be minus ten. So hang on. So so we we're, we're going to try and uh, find out the volume by by integrating horizontally. So um so let's let's look at this. Let's look at one particular this here. So let's let's just look at this here. The uh, the thickness of this disc here would be would be dy. Okay, that that will then give you this. Um, well, what what is the radius of uh, of this particular disc here? Of this particular disc here. Well, the radius would be from here to here. Okay, so so don't forget we've got y squared plus x squared equals twenty squared. So um so if you want to find so remember as you're as you're moving as you're integrating it as you're moving up here the the y varies but what is the what is the what is the radius from here to here well the radius will be this uh squared minus y squared the radius will be this the radius will be this thing here okay so this here will be your radius so as you're moving it, as you as as y is moving up, the radius as y moves up is given by this. Now, if you want to know the so so once you've got the radius, now once once you've got the radius, then pi or square it. That will then give you uh, the area of the disk. So pi r squared, okay, and then and then and then now, uh, well this blah blah blah, this takes you to this, and then. Uh, and then pi is a constant, so take it out, um, and then and then uh, integrate it. That will then give you uh, this. Don't forget, this is just a constant. When you integrate it, it will be um, it will be 400 y, and then uh, blah blah blah. And the volume here should be it should be this. Okay, the volume of the the, the watch should be this. Okay.